Hi, my name is Rami Hamze. Today I'll be talking about egg freezing. Yes, egg freezing is becoming very popular. The idea of fertility preservation is very popular between people. It first started to help patients who were having chemo or radiotherapy so as to save their fertility in the future. But nowadays this concept is attracting the attention of many women who just want to delay their fertility plans for social reasons. In normal life, a woman produces one egg every month. As the woman grows in age, especially after the age of 37, 38, let's say, the quality of those eggs and the quantity both deteriorate. So when a woman stores her eggs at the age of 36, let's say, this gives her the chance to use them later in life and preserve their quality and chances of having a baby later in her 40s. The procedure is very similar to IVF. We start by giving medication to induce ovulation so as to produce more eggs. Then the eggs are collected using a fine needle. They are processed and finally undergo vitrification and storage in liquid nitrogen. Your chances for future pregnancy rate using the stored eggs increase if you store more eggs. Ideally, we advise to store not less than 10 eggs so as to have a realistic chance of pregnancy using those frozen oocytes. Occasionally, you might need to have eggs collected more than once to harvest enough number of eggs to have a better chance of pregnancy in the future. How will the eggs be processed? At the time of egg collection, the oocyte will be counted tested. Only mature ones who are normal will be stored. Usually 60-70% of those eggs collected will be stored and mature. Currently, vitrification is the method of choice for freezing. Then, the frozen oocyte will be stored in liquid nitrogen tanks and can be stored for many years to come. Nowadays, there are special transport services which can ship the frozen oocytes to any place in the world. Do it now or wait another year? This is a very common question. For those who want to do egg freezing for non-medical reason, we consider two main points. First, the age. I don't think anyone younger than 35 with a normal ovarian reserve requires any egg storage. But keeping in mind the ovarian reserve is so important which can be tested either by an ultrasound or an AMH level. So if any lady at any age showing signs of reduced ovarian reserve, freezing eggs is a very, very clever idea. Will egg freezing cause early menopause or will it affect the chances of future fertility? A very repeated question. Egg collection and freezing will not affect the ovarian reserve at all. Furthermore, this procedure will not affect the chances of natural pregnancy in the future. In summary, egg freezing is a non-invasive procedure which gives the sense of hope, security for the future fertility. Seriously consider it and we're happy to help you. Thank you.